Today I'm going to show you how to easily deploy a Firecracker Edge Cloud with Mini One, as well as to, to show you how to use Docker Hub integration to deploy containerized applications on the Edge. Mini One is an easy to use tool for deploying an evaluation open Nebula Cloud based on Firecracker micro VMs, KVM virtual machines, or LexD system containers. The latest version of Mini One brings two new options that allow users to deploy Firecracker hypervisors and to deploy Docker images with micro VMs through the Docker Hub marketplace. By using these new options together with the Open Nebula's edge computing features, you can easily deploy containerized applications on cloud resources at the edge from bare metal infrastructure providers such as Packet. So in this screencast, I want to show you how to use Mini One right, to deploy a local installation that consists of an Open Nebula front end and a Firecracker hypervisor. Then I'll show you how to use Mini One to deploy Firecracker nodes on the edge by using packet bare metal servers. And finally, in order to show how to run and manage containerized applications on the edge, I will deploy an IoT solution that consists of two elements based on ThingsBoard, which is an open source IoT platform. On the local installation, I'm going to deploy the ThingsBoard IoT framework. So this is, a, this is the main application for collecting, managing, and storing data coming from devices on the edge. And then on the edge nodes, I'll deploy the ThingsBoard IoT gateway, an MQTT broker to get the data from the devices that are close to the edge locations. Okay, so to set up a Firecracker cloud integrated with Docker Hub, I'll need a bare metal server with an x86-64 Intel or AMD processor with virtualization capabilities. Um, here I've instantiated a C1 small instance type with Ubuntu 18.04 on packet. And I'm going to use this to deploy an Open Nebula front end and a Firecracker hypervisor. I will set up some IP table rules on the host in order to access the ThingsBoard web application and the MQTT connectivity from outside the host since Mini One will set up only a private network for micro VMs. So I've downloaded the latest release of Mini One and now I'm going to deploy a local installation of the Open Nebula front end plus a Firecracker hypervisor on this host. This is going to take a few minutes. Okay, on this host, I'm going to install the ThingsBoard IoT framework. As I mentioned before, this is an open source IoT platform for device management, data collection, processing, and virtualization for IoT solutions. In this case, I'm going to use the image available on Docker Hub that uses the PostgreSQL database. Then I'm going to provision an edge node to deploy the ThingsBoard IoT gateway that will send the messages to the things board framework. These messages will come from the MQTT broker for which we're going to use the official Eclipse Mosquito Docker image that is an open source message broker that implements the MQTT protocol. Now that the local installation is complete, we can connect to Sunstone. I'll use the public IP of the instance and log in with the one admin user and the password generated by Mini One. So let's connect to Sunstone. All right. Okay, so here we'll see that a local host has been configured as a Firecracker node. All right. There are three data stores, right? image, files, and systems. And then in files, Mini One has imported the kernel image in the files data store that's going to be used to boot the micro VM. Okay. So now I'm going to deploy the things board IoT framework using the Docker image based on the Postgres SQL database. Okay. In order to install the things board IoT framework on the host, First, we need to register the ThingsBoard IoT Docker image in the Open Nebula image data store by specifying the Docker Hub image, right, the tag, the size, the file system, and the format and name of the image. OK, 
Okay. Okay. So now I'm going to create a persistent data block that's going to be used as a volume for the Postgres database. Okay. Okay, so now in order to use the image, we need to format it by using vert format. Okay. Now I'm going to create a template of the micro VM that will use the Docker image registered in the data store and the persistent volume. So in the template, we specify the CPU, the memory, the registered Docker name, and the persistent volume. Okay. In the OS section, it's mandatory to specify the kernel image and the kernel boot parameters. So uh, as a kernel image, we use the one that's imported by the Mini 1 during the installation. In order to start the ThingsBoard IoT framework, in the context, an init script has been defined. It's called init sh, so the Open Nebula contextualization package will execute it by default. The init script will mount right, the persistent data block in forward slash data that's used by the Postgres database. Then we'll export some environment variables in order to start the ThingsBoard application. Okay, so Let's create the template first, and then the micro VM can be instantiated. Okay. Let's see. Now if we go back to Sunstone, we'll see that the micro VM has been instantiated and will be running in a few seconds. Let's take a look. Good. Okay. We can access the micro VM via VNC and we can check the log file of the application. Okay. Now the application is starting for the first time by initializing the database as well as with some demo data that will be used during our demo. Okay. All right, so once the micro VM is booted and running, we can connect via browser to the ThingsBoard web application using the host public IP and port 9090. Right, so here we will log in by using the default values for the tenant admin. Okay. Here we're going to use a demo dashboard available to create a logical gateway whose access token will be used for the gateway that will be deployed on the edge. Okay. Add a device. At the moment, the light of the gateway is red. It will turn green when we deploy the ThingsBoard IoT gateway on the edge. Okay. So now we'll proceed to provision packet edge nodes that will be used for the deployment of the Things, ThingsBoard IoT gateway and MQTT broker. Okay. So Mini1 has the option to extend an open nebula environment by adding hypervisor nodes at the edge by using the option dash dash node, right, to the deployment command. Okay, so in order to run the command, uh, some information needs to be provided, right? So we've got to provide the API token. Okay. 
the project ID. Okay. We need to provide the edge facility. Right, so in this case, we're using the packet edge facility of SJ, SJC1 in Sunnyvale, California. And we also identify the name of the Docker Hub marketplace image. Right, in our case, it's Eclipse Mosquito. Okay, this process will take about five to 10 minutes to complete. Okay. So we'll come back in a few minutes. All right. Now that the provisioning has completed, we can see in Sunstone, all right, we'll come to Sunstone and see that the new host has been provisioned. All right. Also on the Edge image data store, the Eclipse Mosquito has been imported and the corresponding VM template has been created. Cool. Okay, so we need to update the Eclipse Mosquito template that's been imported by Mini One by setting the networks, the private network and the public one. Then we specify, as always, the kernel. Also in this case, an init script has been defined to export the environment variables and ex execute the mosquito application. All right, so let's update the template and instantiate it to create a micro VM. Okay, so in order to install the ThingsBoard IoT gateway on the Edge node, first we need to register the ThingsBoard IoT gateway Docker image in the image data store related to the Edge node. Okay, we do this by specifying the Docker image, the tag, okay, the size. Um, format here. Okay. We're going to specify the file system and the name that will be used in the data store. Okay. Now we're also going to create a template or the micro VM, right? Then we'll use the Docker image registered in the data store. We've got the CPU, the memory, di the disk, got the networks, right? We're going to also need to provide, well, the init file, the init script, and some configurations, a couple of configuration files along with it. Okay, here we're also going to pass some inputs when instantiating the micro VM that are related to the access token, the IP of the things board framework, and the IP of the MQT broker. So let's create the template and we'll take a look at the configuration files. Okay. In the TB Gateway YAML file, we'll, we specify how to connect to the Things Board framework. We have some, some used placeholder for the Things Board IP and the access token. In the MQTT JSON file, we have to define the information about the MQTT broker. A placeholder for the MQTT broker IP is set. Then we define a mapping for how the data coming from the MQTT broker will be converted to be sent to the ThingsBoard framework. 
So in the init script, we copy the configuration files and we replace the placeholders by using the user inputs that will be passed when instantiating the VM. Okay, so now let's create the, the micro VM related to the things board IoT gateway by instantiating the template. Okay, you will ask for the access token. Let's go to the things board dashboard in the devices section and let's copy the access token needed by the gateway for the authentication. Okay, then we pass the IP of the MQTT broker that we've previously instantiated and the public IP of the things board framework. Okay. Great. Okay. So now we can go to Sunstone and we'll check that the micro VMs for MQTT and the IoT gateway have been instantiated and running. All right. Now we can go to the, if we take this, we go to the Things Board Gateway Dashboard and see that once the things board gateway has been deployed, the light will turn green. There we have it. So the gateway has been authenticated with things board. Now to test the deployment, we're going to simulate a device by sending a message to the MQTT broker using the mosquito pub client. Let's copy the public IP and let's use the script that uses the Mosquito Pub to send a message to the MQTT broker. Okay. Now we'll go to the Things Board dashboard and see that a device has been created, right, with the telemetry values that has been sent by the Mosquito Pub client. All right, there you have it. I know this was a little bit longer, but hopefully this was helpful.